Okay, welcome back to the book of Exodus. We're in the middle of the Ten Commandments. We're in Exodus chapter 20, and today verse 14, this commandment, and it won't take a long time to speak it, will it? You shall not commit adultery. Now, this commandment's all about the marriage covenant. This is about violation of a covenant. Fornication, you know, would be sex uh, outside of marriage. Adultery is another sin of a similar order, but different. Adultery means somebody has transgressed the covenant. And of course, the uh, punishment on this one is death for both parties. The, uh, the person who was in the marriage covenant and the person who's violating the marriage covenant. So it's kind of a double whammy here. Sexual purity seems to be a, a specially twisted thing in our age. Uh, first, a divorce became acceptable, and today there's every kind of perversion, every kind of nonsense. This is the most oversold thing there is. The idea that sexual activity somehow is the greatest thing out there. Uh, it is a good thing, but is violating, is it, is it worth it to violate God's holy laws? Is it worth it to transgress and cross the line of holiness for a few moments of whatever you get? Because the marriage covenant is kind of also an echo of the covenant between man and God, and then in the marriage covenant, of course, you have uh, multiple parties, right? You have God, you have the husband, you have the wife, and you have, uh, there's three, three in the covenant, you see. And so, so this is a unique thing, and when you violate the covenant, it's not just that you are uh, transgressing for one party. You, you are transgressing, the other person is, being, is trans, being transgressed, their spouse is being transgressed, and God is being transgressed. This is a sin against many, many parties. This is also a sin against the community because the marriage covenant, the family is at the root of the community, and when you destroy, when you transgress the marriage covenant, you're actually pushing back against a healthy kind of community. And of course, you know that Jesus uh, takes the broader view on this. If you look at somebody and you appreciate their beauty, there's no problem with that. But if you look at somebody to lust for that person, if you are wanting that person in the sexual way and you are, do not have a right to that person, that is a violation of the covenant. That is uh, adultery in the mind. It is, it is to sin. Uh, and by desiring something, you shouldn't be desiring. So it's one thing to look and it's another thing to lust. It's one thing to say that's, that's a good looking person. It's another thing to say, I wish about that good looking person. So stay in the right place. So no, this is not really particular about a, a homosexual sin or some other kind of uh, depravity, but in the extended sense, it certainly is. Okay, so we're really dealing with transgression of the sexual boundaries, de the destruction of a marriage. What God has joined together, let nobody uh, part that thing. And as soon as you cross the covenant line, as soon as you go in uh, to someone who is not your partner, you've crossed the line, you've broken the covenant. Not a small thing because God is requiring the death of both parties. So very serious item here. Uh, if you want to destroy a healthy community, uh, the sexual area is certainly one of the rapid ways to do it. Trust is destroyed, lives are ruined, families are broken apart. Uh, this is, this is the, the strongest place to apply the acid is at the place of marriage. So if you want to destroy a community, you destroy their uh, faithfulness in the marriage covenant. So thou shalt not, you shall not commit adultery. Really crucially important really important here, right in the Ten Commandments, big time. All right, see you tomorrow morning.